Alrighty guys, welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, where today we are going to be hijacking the Altera communications. And what I need to go do is get a parallel processing unit to do that, so that way I can go and craft, uh, what was it again? You know what I also just realized? I, uh, here earlier today went out and did a bunch of stuff to get ready for this, and I forgot to save before I exited the game. That is uh, genius, because I even had a laser cutter. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to go get ready for this and set up. Now, all I got to do here to technically set up is get a laser cutter. And, I mean, that's not a whole lot. But what I am really upset about is uh, I got stuff here to set up a large room over there. And, well, apparently... Oh, why did I do that? Apparently, I didn't save. And I'm a little upset about it, because I just noticed I didn't save. And that's right as I, like, logged back in to start recording. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go run over. I got one more laser cutter. I got a scan. We're going to be heading over here to the copper mine that we went to uh, a couple episodes ago. And that's where we're going to go and scan a laser cutter at. Okay, so we have made it to the, s the mining site here. And we are just going to quickly bring the sea truck down. And we're going to plant it, like, flat on the bottom here. Then we're gonna run back and uh ooh, come on down 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 we know how to go down there we go plant you flat and we'll run back of course and we'll hop into you well now if i recall there should be one right back over here right by this uh storage container Yep, there it is. There we go. Now, all I gotta do is run back to base and craft up a laser cutter. And then we will come back out this way to Delta Station. And we're gonna actually head over to the tail end of that uh, crash ship over there. As well, I've just decided we're probably only going to take the prawn suit because I feel like this is taking a lot more time to do it with the sea truck. That's probably because I need to get the horsepower upgrade now just so I can move faster. Also, I just fixed my gain so you guys can probably hear me a lot better now. Also, I need to go find one more of the horsepower upgrades to actually scan over there in the sea kelp biome. Or the lily pad biome, sorry, that was the wrong one there what I, that I mentioned. It's not the sea kelp, it's the lily pad. That was the wrong button. I need two diamonds, titanium, and sulfur. I probably don't have the sulfur. Uh, I need the two diamonds. I have one diamond. One sulfur. I have more diamonds, and I know exactly where they are. Because I remember this because the game decided not to save. I had a bunch of diamonds in the back of this when I got off last time. I just never put them away. Well, I did, but the game didn't save. I already went and got the laser cutter and built a bunch of stuff before we went over. No, or I got everything ready before we went over to go do the, you know, get the parallel processing unit. Ooh, I fell in. Okay, we got to open up this storage back here and boom, diamonds, see? I'm just going to leave that all there like that for now. I'll come back and clean it out later. I just want to get the laser cutter built, and then, actually, now that I said that, I gotta go clean out the, the prawn suit, sorry. I couldn't remember what it's called. I gotta go clean out the prawn suit here, because that's what we're gonna be taking today. Okay, so I painted our prawn suit. I almost called it a cyclops. I painted our prawn suit here, and we're hopping in, and we're ready to go. Now, we're just gonna go for it. I don't care what time it is. Actually, I do. Uh, just because we're at the base here, we're gonna go sleep. Then we're gonna head over. Okay, we have made it over here to the rear end of this ship. Now, the reason why I wanted to mostly clean out the prawn suits inventory is just so I can stock up on lithium. This is something I actually did off screen last episode, but again, episode did not save, so we lost all that progress. Now, I'm not planning on spending the whole day gathering lithium. We're just gonna grab a couple pieces here. Look for a hole to get into this ship, and then we're gonna, yeah, go for it. Just explore the interior. 
Not seeing much more lithium around the area. Those guys are screeching at me. Um, t -t -t -t. There's a hole in. Um, anything over here? Yes, there is. Okay. Let's drop the prawn suit here. And we'll use this. We'll turn that off. But we'll make sure that we can see... This should take us over here to this entrance, right? Yeah. Um, I thought I just saw something scannable. It's the fish that are scannable. How about this door? Uh, let's go with four. Cut it open. Gotta watch our oxygen there as well. We don't got a whole lot. This is taking a while. I feel like this is taking longer than it did back in uh, Subnautica, the original. Ooh, hello. I got oxygen plants in here. Guess we just kind of look. Power supply. Okay, that's awesome. I got an extra power supply now. Um, I actually don't even have a recharger for those, so. Copper wire. I actually need that here later. It's the fish again. Um battery let's uh let's cut this door open i hear a bunch of those guys okay that door opened what is this laser cutter fragment so it's the tool i just used to open up that door is this oh my yeah it just looped i just did a loop so what we'll do here is before we head back in, we'll hop in the prawn suit, we'll refill our oxygen, and then we'll hop back out. And we'll go right back up these steps, because that's where we just came from. Um, actually, did I search any of this yet? I think I did already search this section. Water and nutrients. I actually need that stuff right now, so let's... Boom. That just tops us off. Okay. Um, I'm going to take off my sea glide here just so I can slow down so I don't miss too much. Okay. We can... More food and water. What's down here? Oh. Oh. I remember this door from last time we were here. We have to cut it open. Okay. What is this? Parallel processing unit. Oh, I gotta get three fragments? Okay. So we need to head back up here. Sounds like one of those one guys, the... One guys that swim around the vents are close. Um, can I get up in through here? I feel like this isn't the area I wanted me to go, but it's the one I'm going through. There's a PDA. Maybe I was supposed to head this way. Titanium ingot. Nice. Mercury 2 PDA. Let's the play. Checks. We dumped a ton of runoff, and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Yeah, Stephanos. go through there. How to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with. And no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying... Ooh, that's another parallel processing in, unit. ...in the sleepiest role. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he oh, just so that way these fish quit popping up. Face, Scan one, please. Twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I there don't we go. mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set a picnic there and said I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part, though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricate. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes, but the craziest part? 
he managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. I'm not seeing any other ways to advance forward. We got this oxygen here. Let's grab it. Must... Yeah, no, I don't think I'm supposed to go through that one. There's another set of stairs. Can I head up it? Gotta watch your oxygen, dude. Yeah, this is just another way in. Let's run back to the prawn suit here real quick. I want to check my map, see if there's only two parallel processing units here. See if we have to head to the front end. Okay, so it looks like the only thing I was missing here is this uh, uh, data pad. Do repairs and spurts, but it's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. Borrow from Diana. Orion's belt thermal couplings are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> but it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't. I think I just need to keep on heading south and I'll find I it. Love hearing her voice. Her face lights up, and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. No. The way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. There it is. Hmm. No. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> I'll see if I can find the front of this ship. It's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, I found the front end. Now we just have to find a parallel processing unit somewhere inside of it. I also got to find an entrance somewhere around here. I know I did see that one there on the left. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's the one I'm going to have to take. You got one right there. See it? Okay. Let's do this. Let's see if we can find anything. We got new stuff. Nice. Is this a door I can cut? Yeah, we'll cut through this door. Looks like I just found me an alien containment unit. Now all those eggs I have, I can go and hatch. I also found a Mercury 2 data pad. Never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting. Which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Nice. Let's see, Stephanos. I never would else complain when they have a Chinese potato seeds. Oh, <gasps> some. Pockets. No, you don't understand I'll how good those are. I gotta get those back to the base. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every single linguist dream. <sighs> I mean, I was I gotta hurry. Planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, which means civilization, and civilization means dun, 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 language. Oh man! 
Now, most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's been away from so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Great. What was it? Reactor rod, I believe. Drill arm. I need to watch my oxygen a little, 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 little bit closer. I feel like I'm letting it slip away a tiny bit. There is a little vehicle bay here. Chinese potatoes. We're going to leave those there just in case the ones I have on me do manage to rot. I have a backup box here filled with them. Power cell, nice. Should probably run over to the prawn suit and uh, go load it up with some stuff just so that way I don't get over filled and then I find stuff I need and I can't fill. I, well, I can't pick it up, you know. I need to also go top off my oxygen or fill it up completely. So if I recall, it's this way, then down, and then to the left. Right? Yes. Now we can just hop right in and... We'll refill the oxygen a bit. Then we'll drop off. Okay. Boom, boom. You. I feel like we're going to lose all those potatoes. We're going to lose all those potatoes, I feel like. Damn. I'm not too, too worried about it. That's where we came from. Didn't check up here. Power cell. Awesome. Advanced wiring kit, awesome. Um, tch -tch -tch. ooh. Head down this way. Is this a reactor? I'm just not even gonna bother cutting open things. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff, and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is well was shorthanded because of everything i heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot then i saw daylight and i was looking down at the ocean and ice the strongest wind i've ever felt roared in my ears ripping through the ship people went flying out the side of the mercury so much screaming and chaos I was lucky. I had just clicked into my seat anchor. Stephanos came out of nowhere like a malaika, an angel. There's one. I Parallel processing unit. Palest hand grasp mine. Gentlest of urgency. It... Now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. Is this another... Ooh, jukebox sticks. Ro Rocket gaming. Sorry, I can't actually play any of the jukebox discs for you because I'm afraid I'm going to get co copywritten, so... We're not even going to attempt it. But I, w I do like listening to some of these music. Some of this music. Um, let's head this way. Down. Over. Over. Down. Where does this take us? I'm just trying to make sure I get everything I can out of this place. Like all the data pads. Pretty sure I got a huge chunk of them. We're getting a bunch of food though. Food and water. Uh, t -t -t is there another data pad around? No. Oxygen, though. Nothing back there. Anything up here? Can you be cut? No. Can I go back here? I feel like I just looped. I'm kind of lost. Okay, we came in through the ceiling. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. I need to... Here we go. I said I need to either find a battery or run back to the... Prawn suit as 
absolutely as fast as possible, but I'm kind of stuck. I think I know where we are now. Yeah, I know exactly where we are. Uh, I think I got all the data pads I could. Or I want to. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff, and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to... Let's head actually back up Stephanos. here to the cockpit. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? Anything up here I missed? So we came back here to check. Because so we went in that vent there. There's two oxygen plants. So I can definitely make sure I am filled. Over in this room. Okay, um... I do not see anything else at all. There's, these don't lead anywhere. So what we'll do is we're going to head back to the prawn suit. And then what we're going to... We're going to go build the parallel processing unit, I believe. Hold up, let me... Uh, what do, exactly do I all need to build? Hold up, let's get somewhere with oxygen so that way I don't die. Let's be smart about this. Okay, I got everything I need to go build pinned. The parallel processing unit I have everything for. And along with the test module I have everything for. We just got to get back to base to build it. Okay, we are back at the base. Now what we got to do is kind of just drop everything off or find, you know what I got to do? I got to just build some storage. That's what I got to do. Like that's my only option right now. Let's build some storage. Just so that way I have room for everything I just got. We're just going to quickly build some simple storage. Gonna build one over here. We're running low on titanium. No, we're not. We also got a bunch of power cells. No, I will go back through and organize this eventually. We're just kind of just cleaning out our inventory of stuff we don't really need. And that's as clean as it's going to get. Um, we may as well clean out the prawn suit here as well. Oh, oh, I just noticed we also got back in time to do this. Come on, come on, come on. Plant. Boom. We got Chinese potatoes. I probably should not have eaten those. But there we go. That should hopefully grow. Right? Yeah, Chinese potato. Now that was my main food source back in the original Subnautica. Okay, so I got everything I need for the parallel processing unit. What do I need there for that? I need titanium, lead, and I got a copper wire, don't I? Yes, I do. Sorry I keep on opening and closing that. I was spamming out there and couldn't figure out what I was missing. So parallel processing unit. Shibuya. Uh, unpin that. Unpin that. Craft the test override module. Boom. Unpin that. Also, where? how did I... Yeah, unpin nuclear rods. I don't need those. Um, yeah. I think we should be good on this kind of stuff for a little bit. So now what we gotta do is run over and actually put the test override module in there and activate it. I don't know what I was talking about there, about being done with it. We're not. Let's go. So, gotta head over to Delta Station. Okay, so we are here at Delta Station. Now what we gotta do is get up there to the antenna and install this uh, override module. Now, best thing to do here is just to follow the lights. They should take you almost straight there. Okay, we are up here now. What we gotta do is get up here. We gotta install the override module. Now, this is the easy part of today. Just gotta run. If I can get around a corner, damn. Now, I just gotta run up here, run around here to the other side, and slot this thing in. Right? back to the terminal and let's see ow let's see what this does Should do it please work okay it worked yes satellite
satellite is down. Satellite down, okay. That was most resourceful. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now what am I supposed to do? Okay, apparently I'm just waiting for a, for a message from Margaret to tell me where to go. There we go. Alright, Altera. You win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure. Whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. So yeah, that's what I was waiting for. He was supposed to call me, and now... Did he give me a beacon? No, it did not. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that we guys can be notified upon me posting any new videos. And yes, this has been Gunshy Morey, signing off. Peace.